Hey guys, Mr. Xbox Infinity here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new Xbox Live indie game called Block World. So, Block World, um, as you can probably guess, is a block based game. I'd say the game it's most similar to is probably Castle Miner, I'd say. Um, but it's really a, a good deal because it's uh, 80 Microsoft points. Um, now, it did just get, just get released, so they haven't updated it all that much and it doesn't have a lot of the you know key features that many other block games do but eventually they're gonna update it so if you just be patient you can see the the full potential of this game and so right when you get into here uh, there's single player multiplayer options and quit they actually just added multiplayer one good thing about the game is they're going to be doing updates uh, about every three weeks, so um, they're going to try to keep it you know, on, on a regular schedule. Every three weeks, they'll add another thing, so they just added multiplayer, which is a, a pretty big part of the game, but we're going to go into single player for now, and uh, I... I can show you a couple options. Uh, when you create a new world, you can change the name, the seed, the world type, which is like um, just what it is. You see there's a description at the bottom. Uh, floating island, middle earth, and flatlands. And you can change it uh, to where there's trees or no trees. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of the worlds I've already made. Uh, I just went through and, you know, previewed a couple of the features in it and built myself a little house. So, hold on, uh, here we are. Uh, this game does not have a uh, survival mode yet, which is a pretty big part of the game, so I'm really hoping that they add that soon because um you know right now all it is really is creative and you can build whatever and you know it's still pretty fun but um it's lacking a couple things so uh this is the house i built it's uh not too much nothing too fancy i just wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that you can do in here um so you know i just did a, a floor pattern they have this one block it's like the the logo for the company that created it um, and then I line the outside with gold and you know I have some detailing and stuff you go upstairs nothing much you know I got a little bookshelf and some windows um, so that's my house nothing too much I just wanted to show you guys a little something I built but um yeah, so the controls for this game are pretty similar to any other block game, except um, it is a little different because you can only have one thing in a hand. So uh, if you have like a block like this bomb block, I think it is, something like that, um, you press right trigger to place it instead of uh, left trigger like it would normally be. But you can uh, press left trigger to destroy a block like that. Um, and here, I'll, I'll light off the bomb, click right trigger, and bam. <laughs> oh god. I, I did not think it would be that big. Uh, but, yeah, um, I'm gonna show you guys a couple cool things that they have too. They have dice, which is a, a, a really, like, I don't even know. A, a weird thing to add in here but I mean I guess it could have a couple uses you know if you want to make a board game or something um, you just click it and it you know rolls a, a random number I guess so uh, that's a, a cool thing they also have beach balls um, another kind of random thing that they added you know just something to mess around with you know maybe play some volleyball you know get some friends together um, next we, uh, we have this block, which I already went over. Uh, then there's, uh, bow and arrows, and the longer you hold it, like, the faster and more accurate it is. 
and uh, you can actually break blocks with bows and arrows as well as uh, you know like do PvP and stuff like that um, so yeah that's something cool too and next up there's a map it's pretty similar to the map in Minecraft except it's a lot less detailed and a lot harder to tell where you actually are um, because there's really no marker for your person so you can't really tell where you're going or anything like that but you know I mean I guess it's cool uh, torches we have um, here let me show you if you press start and go down to world options you can actually control the time of day so right now I just have it set on morning so it doesn't go to night at all uh, but you can also change the PvP, flight, and player names. But uh, if you change it to, I'll change it to midnight, you can see that it changes and it's actually really dark. So you almost have to have torches if you're going to do anything at night. Um, because, you know, I mean, at least for me, I can't see anything on my TV without any torches. Um, but let me change it back here. Change it to. Uh... Oh yeah, th that's also a cool feature. Uh, you can do real time, so um, it'll have whatever time it is in real life in your world. So here I'll set it to morning again, and there we go. Um, and then another thing that was pretty different, you know, innovative, whatever is a die so you can actually die blocks it's not like just in minecraft where you can only die sheep or like stuff like that uh... you can actually wait hmm. what's going on All right. okay well apparently you can't die grass for some reason but uh... let me come over to my house and i'll, I'll die a couple blocks here yeah, there we go. Got got some nice purple stairs here. Uh, the house, house is rocking it. Oh yeah. Uh, so you can actually get like pretty creative with that too. You know, if you wanna, you wanted to do a checkerboard pattern or something in here, you could. You know, bring in a, a couple other colors. Um, so one downside though is that there's only one page of items and one page of blocks. Um, to get into the items and the blocks, well, to get into the items, you press Y, and, you know, there's one page here, you got all your dies on this half, there's actually a lot of dies, there's a, a puke yellow die, <laughs> um, and all the rest of the items, you know, there's a, a sword, and a couple things, I don't really know what they do, there's a hammer and a pitchfork, and stuff like that so I don't really know what those two do because you know an axe you would guess is uh, for wood a shovel for dirt and a pickaxe for stone but I have no idea what a hammer and a pitchfork would be for maybe fighting maybe something like that um, there's ladders signs bookshelves bombs uh, I don't really know what a clay ball is or a ball of clay whatever um, oh, but I forgot one of the coolest things in the game. Um, so this is really a cool thing. It's a camera, and they haven't added this in on multiplayer yet, but what you can do is go to any spot that you want to take a picture of, and press right trigger, and press right trigger again, and if you go back, um, back to, like, my house... If I wanted to add a picture in my house, you know, decorate it a little bit, you can scroll over to where it just added that picture and uh, place it. Let's place it right, right there. Oh yeah, got a got a nice little picture frame right there. And um, you know, you can take pictures of whatever. You take pictures of your builds, just any landscape. You know, if you wanna decorate your house a little bit more it's a, it's a cool thing oh but um actually I lied that wasn't the coolest part of the game uh, the coolest part of the game is this oh 
Oh yeah, who doesn't love a little, little marijuana plant, you know, a little weed? <laughs> uh, I have no idea why they added this, you know. It, it's it's called um, it's called hemp because apparently you can't like call something in an E-rated game uh, marijuana or something like that. I I don't know, but it's a uh, it's a pretty cool plant. <laughs> uh, so yeah, th that's that's the coolest part of the game right there. Um, so I think that might be all. Uh, I am definitely gonna be making a lot more videos about this game. Um, I am gonna talk to the creator or the developer in a little bit, and I'm gonna try to get an interview with him um, he already said he would so we just have to kind of set it up a little bit more um, so that should be pretty cool be looking for that um, I have a multiplayer world that I'm probably gonna make a video of uh, actually probably tonight so uh, be looking for that too uh, I built some pretty cool things with my friends and Arbold from builders unit if you know who that is and, um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty good game once they update it a bit more. So, with that being said, um, I think that's it. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And be looking for more Block World content. See you guys later.